Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Alex and I'm here to teach you guys about some K1 math. So today what we're doing is we're using this wonderful number chart. So we have our number chart and we have our die and that's all we need for this game. So the way it works is you take your die, you go ahead and roll it. Whatever number comes up, you go ahead and find that on your number chart. Go ahead and place it so that's six. And then you roll the die again and add it to the previous one. So in this case, we got one. We're gonna go ahead and add that one there. So now we're at seven, add two. So we're at nine, seven plus two is nine. Six, so nine plus six is 15. So we're gonna go right there. And you keep on going all the way until you reach 100. So a variation, if one die is a little bit too easy for you, what you can also do is you can incorporate others. So in this case, I'll go ahead and roll two dice. So we'll go ahead and add those together. We got six and one, which makes seven. So we'll start at seven on our number chart. And then we can add another six there because we have three and three, which makes six. Six plus seven makes 13. And we're gonna do the same thing and move all the way down our number chart to 100. Now, if you don't have a number chart at home, you can actually write it on a piece of paper and or a whiteboard or anything that you might have at home which you can write numbers. And if you want to continue past 100, you can go up to 200, 300, or even 1,000 if you're really, really getting into it. Now, another variation, you can also use multiplication instead of doing addition. So if you have you know, an older sibling, someone in maybe second to fifth grade that wants to help out and get involved, you can do addition, your older brother or sister, they can do multiplication. So let's say, for instance, we can start. We always got to start with one. So we have five here, and then we'll roll the second die, and we have four. So five times four is 20. So we'll go right over here to 20 on our number chart. And then we can add the next one. So we'll roll one. So we got three and three. So three times three is nine. So we'll take our 20 and add nine. Bam, we're at 29, just like that. So you can do that, or you can really get fancy and do three dies. We got six times three times three. So we'll take the six and we'll multiply that by the three. So we'll get 18. We'll take that three and we'll also multiply that by another three. So that's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that'll be 54. So we'll go down here. We'll start from the beginning and work our way up to 54. So that's another variation we can use to multiply and use our dice game. Okay, so another variation, let's say maybe you're at home and you don't happen to have any dice. Parents don't believe in Monopoly, something like that. Well, what you can do is you can take whatever counters you have, maybe some beans, rice, uh, marbles, things like that, and you can drop them gently towards the numbers that are on your number line. So if we're trying to do single digits, we can just drop them like that and then we'll match them up to whatever number they're on. And so in this case, I have 10 and I have five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some subtraction. So we'll do 10 minus five, so that's five. And if you have a partner or if you have somebody that you can play with, you can compete to see who can get from zero all the way to, the 100, to 100 the fastest. So by either rolling the dice or doing the matchup game here, where we'll subtract and move down the board. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our number chart activity, learned a little bit or got some practice with some addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.